Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today's video is going to be a lot of fun. Um, we're going to be editing like Brittany Xavier, I think that's how you say her name. She, um, I think she's a model, pretty cool Instagram account, posts a lot of different style photos. So it's going to be quite difficult to, you know, do her exact style because it changes throughout every single photo. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be basing it off her most recent one at the time of recording this uh, particular video. So she's got like one point something million followers. Um, she's 30 minutes ago, half an hour, she just posted this really, really cool photo. Looks like her in a cafe, something like that. Um, and it's got this really cool filmic look, this really old fashioned green grainy film look. So we're going to be trying to mimic that style. And you're in luck guys, if you want to go ahead and download the preset that we use in this video, um, plus 10 free presets as well. There's a link down below in the description that says free presets. Go ahead, download a bunch of presets for free. Um, bear in mind it's a free trial to our rest of our 500 presets, so if you continue on for two days um, we'll send you 500 more presets, but if you cancel your trial um, you can just go ahead and take those 10 for free. But without any further ado, let's just jump into the video. Actually, no, <laughs> before we start, go ahead and check me out. It's Matthew underscore GKB. Really trying to hit 10k followers, so go ahead, give me a follow on Instagram. Um, and of course, Sebastian, because he's got 14,000 followers, so um, we've got to beat him. So we've got to give me some more followers. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram. That'll be absolutely awesome. Okay, so here is where we are now in Lightroom. So what I've done is I've imported the reference photo into Lightroom so we've got something to work off. Um, and then I've got this really cool photo. Um, oh, I've got this really cool photo on the right here, which is the one that we're going to be editing the photo of now. So this is the photo, really cool, similar kind of vibes, similar kind of style, um, which is why I chose it. Um, so what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to put it to a four by five crop ratio because um, if you're new around here, pretty much all of our videos are based around Instagram artists and Instagram editing. So. 4x5 is the ratio that we'll use on Instagram, so that's the one that we use most of the time in our videos. But of course you don't have to, you can do whatever crop you want, but that's the one that we're going to be doing today because it will match our reference view one. So let's put this back into um, a reference, and there we go, we've got our before and our after. Well, not before and after, but we've got the um, where we want to be heading. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply one of our presets. So this is a film look preset, and straight away we get a pretty similar look to the photo. Um, just to show you guys a few more of these presets, because you, you can get these as well. These, these are all in the link down below if you want to go ahead and get them. Um, so we can get some really cool effects with these film look presets. Obviously that's too filmy. I want to go through these and see if there's something that works with the image that we can essentially like steal um, and work off that before we start diving into the edits. Um, I think... I think Film Look 1 is probably the best direction to head in. So let's just have a little look at the sliders. Because this is what I recommend you do if you go ahead and get our presets. Is you apply the preset and you look at the sliders and try and start working out how we've managed to get to that look. So what it looks like we've done is just you know left this pretty much a standard. Yeah, take saturation down, that's what we'll do. Lift up those shadows. Um, yeah, she's got a little bit of fade in hers, so we'll put a little bit of fade in ours. She's got roughly similar amounts of contrast, maybe a little bit less. So we'll take up the shadows a little bit on ours. Um, what else? So she's brought her yellows down towards the orange side, pushed up the oranges more towards the greeny yellow, same with the reds. Um, desaturated most things, not really, no. <laughs> uh, split toning, okay, so this is where the things um, really start editing this photo. So we've got a bit of a yellow on the highlights and we've got some green on the shadows there. What else are we going to be doing? Okay, so pretty, pretty rough colour grading really there. I wondered, maybe I've done something else on the... Red, ah, there we go. Green and blue. Okay, so what we've done mainly is port up the, the shadows to more of a green on our tone curve. So let's just click reset. This is going to reset my crop, which is annoying because I always forget to do this. And let's just start, shall we? Let's see what we can do. So, um, guys, if you are new around here, make sure you go ahead and you subscribe. Um, I've got an AGI. Um, <laughs> give us a subscribe and turn on the bell notification because YouTube seems to hate us at the moment and doesn't really want to promote our videos to our subscribers um, or anyone for that matter. So um, we're going to fight them by turning on the notification bell. So reference view. Let's go back to the beginning. So the first thing I want to do, sorry if I'm speaking too fast by the way, but um, I want to bring up the shadows. That's the first port of call for me because we've got a really nice amount of information down there that's being crushed and lost um, beforehand. Highlights, I'm actually just going to bring those down a tiny bit. Maybe bring up my whites a little bit, because we've got this, these bright whites on her um, hand and her face here, so we want a little bit of that in the image. 
Um, now to cheat a little bit, we're going to bring our tint of the image to the green side and up to ooh, up towards the yellow side a tiny bit more as well. Now, I wouldn't usually do this if I was to edit a normal photo because I don't like greens in the photo, but when you're doing film like colour grades, um, you want that green in there. It really helps to um, bring out the look of the film. So maybe a tiny bit more green just to help push that out there. Clarity we're going to drop down the clarity a tiny bit. Now, the reason behind that is when you have these old-fashioned cameras, um, you couldn't really get super sharp images, and they weren't super contrasty, um, which is what the clarity does. So if we drop that back a little bit, it'll make it a little bit more realistic. Um, they did, however, used to have very dark blacks, so we are going to crush our blacks a little bit and take those down, um, and then drop our saturation a tiny bit, um, and maybe to just bring up our vibrancy just a touch. Okay, cool, so we're already getting a pretty good colour match to the photo that we're basing off already. Um, let's just do a quick before and after, um, just so you can see the difference so far. So obviously we'll be applying grain to this image later on, but um, let's just get the colours right, and then what we'll do is we'll start focusing on some really cool effects right to the photo. So I'm going to come onto my tone curve, come onto my blue channel here, and then I'm going to just lift up my shadows, and this should hopefully bring in some of those dark blues, um, or yellows if we bring them to the right. So we've got to bring in some dark blues into the shadows, I think. Um, let's come into the greens because as well, I want to bring in those greeny uh, tones to the shadows as well, which I think can really help if we do that, if we bring those in the bottom. We don't want them too pronounced. Um, I think we're going to bring in a little bit of greens into the highlights. And what we'll do is we'll go back onto um, our blues and we'll bring some yellows into the highlights as well. Um, what that'll do is it will give us that kind of yellowy green look uh, that we've got going on here um, and bring down into the yellows a little bit on our mid-tones as well. Let's try out our reds, see if we can do anything there. Um, I like to put in at least two or three points just to have a play around. Um, bring my shadows down just to bring in those blues and greens into the shadows and then just to counteract that bit maybe bring in a tiny bit of red. Um, we've got some, I don't know, it feels like we've got some orangey warmer tones down here in the shadows so I want to kind of get that representation through a tiny bit. Now if I bring up my, my shadows too high it kind of removes that nice effect that we had earlier so I'm not going to do that. Um, we're going to leave the, I think we're going to leave the highlights as as is. So let's just turn off the tone curve and turn it back on again. Okay so we're really getting there, we're getting a nice um, a nice set of colours applied to the image now. I really love editing these film photos, um, it's one of my favourite edits to go ahead and do. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to have a play around with the skin tone. I think the skin tone is still a little bit too green. Um, so let's bring up, bring down the oranges a little bit to make them a little bit more pink. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, for the yellows, I'm going to bring those up to the right a little bit. Now what that's going to do is it's going to help add in some, some green to the image. Now I'm trying to match this orange here to this orange here. Um, so I think we're kind of getting there at the moment. That's really kind of the look I'm going for. And obviously the wood colours as well, I'm trying to match those. Um, trying to make sure my exposure on the cameras right, there we go, this should be okay. Um, okay, so we're getting there, the greens, I think the greens are looking well, I mean it's really hard to tell until we haven't applied some grain to the image, so we'll just have to see how that goes later on. Blues, now we can either go ahead, no, oh, we don't have any blues in this image, that's strange, I would have thought we would have done. Um, nope, okay, so let's just leave those. Greens, we're obviously going to have a go with. Um, I'm going to bring the greens to the left, make them more brown. Um, sounds a bit counterintuitive, but I don't want the image to be too green. Um, you know, if we have green, 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 and green, there's not much else going on in the image. So I want to make them all brown by bringing them down to the left. Saturation, I'm just going to bring off the saturation of those greens that I've adjusted there. Um, oranges, I'm going to bring up a little bit, just to make her skin tone look a little bit more realistic. And I am actually going to come back and bring up those highlights that I turned down earlier, just to make sure she there's some, there's some light on her, because uh, she does seem to be a bit dark. I'm actually going to bring down those whites just a tiny bit, just to counteract that. And then bring up up a little bit in the contrast, um, and maybe a little bit on the exposure side as well. Okay, so we're getting there in terms of the colours. I think we're getting a lot closer. Luminance is going to be a fun one. Let's bring up the oranges just to brighten up her face. Um, let's darken down the wood a little bit, just to make it a little bit closer to her style. Greens, let's just brighten those up. Reds, make her face and her lips pop a little bit more. Okay, we're getting there. I think we're doing quite well. Okay, this is the fun bit. So, highlights. You can see if we look on the highlights of our model here on the left, and um, we've got these, especially in the hair here, we've got this like orangey yellow coming from the lights, um, and obviously coming from the sunlight because you spy a window. It looks. Um, so we're going to try and replicate that by turning up our exposure, 
sorry, our saturation, holding down Alt or Option if you're on a Mac, um, and then adjusting until we get to about, I think about 45, 50. Um, my eye is hurting. <laughs> that's applying a nice yellow to the highlights there. Um, I think that's pretty good, 45. Now what we're going to do is the fun bit is really going to change this image and make it really uniform across is applying a green to the shadows. So let's just go a bit rogue and apply a really luminescent green and see how that affects the image. Now, you see, this is where it's fun to do because we've added a lot of green into the image, which I think really helps get us that look. But when I add green to the shadows, it really doesn't get the look um, that I wanted. So I think what we need to do is we need to add like some blues or maybe even some reds to the shadows just to counteract that green that I've added earlier because it does seem a little bit, there we go, you see now it's actually a little bit warmer and despite me adding blue it does seem to warm up the image a little bit, maybe even if I go towards the purples um, we're going to get closer, I think I think that's a little bit closer um, I think maybe the blue a tealy kind of blue might be a better look. There we go, tealy blue, um, and I think we've hit it. I'm looking at the colour of the wall over here, comparing it to the colour of the wall in the background. We're definitely getting closer. Okay, so now this is going to be the fun bit. Um, we're going to come down to sharpening. I'm going to add in a little bit of sharpening. We want to make sure the image is sharp enough. Um, and now we're going to come down to grain and add in some grain. Now, first things first, I want you to look at the size, roughly, of the grain on each image. We want to go ahead and try and match it on both photos because that's important when you're trying to mimic someone's style because with grain you can go ahead and you can increase the size of the grain. So I think the grain size is a little bit bigger in hers so let's go ahead and do that as well. Increase the size of the grain. Um, seems a little bit rougher as well on there so let's make it a tiny bit rougher. Okay that's a little bit too rough so maybe bring that down to about 70. Um, we're getting there now I think still a little bit too a little bit too much, down to 70, 60, let's just drop that to 65 I think and that's going to get us the look we want. Okay cool, so now what I'm going to do is just drop these back to the normal zoom and we've pretty much got it, I think we're really getting there. Um, if anything I think we've got a little bit too much blue in our um, photo here on the right so I am actually going to bring our split turning a little bit closer to the TD greens just to counteract that and that's a little bit better now, okay I like that, how that's looking. Cool, final thing um, I'm just going to have a play around putting a little bit of a vignette on it. Um, you can go either way. Um, just a tiny bit, just to pull the, the attention more towards the centre. Um, see, this is a... <laughs> I'm alternating between liking what I had before and split turning, like what I've got now. Um, I think I need to stop changing it. I'm going to leave it there. Um, because they look too green when I just change it then. Um, the trouble is when you're editing in Lightroom is you get used to what the image looks like, you change it and you like it, then you get used to it and you change it and you're, it's a nightmare. But um, let's see what we can do with the green primary now. Um, let's bring up the red to the... Ooh. Ooh. It's doing some funky stuff to the image, I don't know if this is what I want to be doing. Um, let's drop the blue primary back. Oh, it's hard. This is difficult to try and get it match to match completely, but I think... Um, I think we're getting closer to the look. If anything, I think the image needs to be a little bit warmer, so what we are going to do is we are going to bring up the temperature um, and it's going to warm it up a little bit. Maybe not that much, but I think that's going to do well. Bring in some green. Okay. I think we're getting there. I think that's pretty much it, guys. I don't think there's much more else we can do. Final thing, actually, I forgot. We need to add in some fade into the image. Uh, we did our... Where is it? Here we go. We did our, our G, uh, red, green and blue channels, but we didn't actually do our final tone curve adjustment and that's something that we really need to do to make sure these images look similar. There we go. We're now adding in a lot of fade into the image um, just to make sure they match a little bit better. And I think we're going to bring up those shadows just a bit. Bring up those mid-tones just to get that contrast in there. Drop down the highlights and then what we're going to do is we're going to get our whites slash our highlights um, and fade those off a little bit as well. Okay. So there we go guys, and um, let's just do a quick before and after, before, after, before, after, before, after, there we go. Hopefully um, we've got a similar colour grade there. A few things that I'm not too pleased about is, um, I think our image isn't warm enough, um, and I'd say the skin tone's a little bit off, but other than that we've got a pretty close um, representation of what we were kind of aiming for. So um, this preset, as I said, will be down below if you want to go ahead and check it out. And you can also go ahead, if you continue on for the next two days, and you stay on, um, 
after the trial, you'll go ahead and you'll get access to all of these film preset pack here. Um, you know, every, see every single preset you see on the left here, you'll go ahead and you'll get access to all of those as well. Um, so that'd be awesome if you can do that. Um, don't forget, go ahead and follow him on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, follow Smash on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in the next video.